Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome, welcome to a one-off episode of Hexarchy, a card-based civilization-esque uh, game. I think there's a public demo in early February that's going to become available. But, you know, I said, like, you know, why not uh, give it a try? So I'll kind of get into it, uh, you know, once we're uh, actually in. Game like normal, civilization. Uh, let's just go right on for uh, now. So. Basically, it's very, very, very similar to Civilization, but it's, like I said, it's like a card-based game. I played one, um, one game of it so far, and I think it's got, like, a lot of, uh, interesting concepts behind it that could be, uh, interesting if they were, uh, fleshed out a little bit more. So, as you can see, we've got a handful of cards here. We're playing as China. Our unique ability is organized labor. Collect one gold and draw three cards. So, we want to found our capital city. I mean, this is actually, it's a free resource, so, like, why wouldn't we? This game says we want to be either here or here. I guess we'll go to this province first. We've got Beijing. Uh, we got one star. Well, one population. Capital city. And it's got uh, four little happy faces, which is nice. We have four uh, hammers. We have one unit of gold. We can draw more cards for gold. And for three gold, we can buy a horse. But I don't think we really need that right now. And, you know, of course, when we start off, our deck is not going to be very large. Um... Expand your uh, empire with ultimate authority for the cause. One hammer, so you know, like, why not? One gold, one happiness produced by the palace. That seems okay. And you know, immediately to spend that right now. Explore your native lands for their fullest potential. Uh, what else we got? We got strength for more, st uh, for more strength for our units, but that's not really useful. Do I have a? Okay, so what do we want to research right now? We could get a library. You know what? Library seems like it could be uh, useful in the future. We don't have enough money to actually spend it, but that is fine. So I'm not too sure how many AIs are actually in the uh, the world right now. So right now, there are... I'm guessing there's maybe three players. There are three ways for the game to actually end. One, one person has 1,300 points. Three people have 1,000, or we reach turn 30. Right now, we're, of course, on turn two. So let's see, we have a scale for one hammer, one gold, and I think that's probably worthwhile. Have I discovered, there's Athens, Mecca, and we're at war with everybody. I, as far as I can tell, there's no diplomacy in the game, at least not quite yet. Masonry for two hammers, one gold. I mean, agriculture seems like it could be useful. Slavery, I believe that kills one population to uh, put two hammers. We don't need that right now, I think we'll just want agriculture. Called up immediately by a farm. We could go with you. Collect one gold, draw three cards. Sure, why not? I mean, really, we're just doing it for the money. And as you can see, we already have 17 cards in our hand. So we're kind of directly in the middle of all three uh, enemy empires. But I'm kind of okay with that. Let's send you all the way down here. We could build Settler for two and three, which I actually have enough money to do. But you're not big enough, right? You know, that actually makes perfect sense. So, you know, probably actually, let's build, still not enough population to actually make a soldier, right? Astra okay, you're actually pretty good. A 50% attack boost on units would be actually, or archers. You know, let's go military tactics. Let's get attack strength. Can't spend it right now, but I think that's okay. And this unit will now, uh, yeah, head away down south. We do want to probably build a new unit soon. All of these guys are kind of expanding. Are you a scout unit? Yes. Find favor. Do you have four and three? We do. You know what? Honestly, I think it's worthwhile just to spend all of our uh, money this turn building a library for more research. Annual, anyway, why don't you continue to... Don't go through Mecca. Come up here. Let's explore over in this direction. And maybe we'll find something good over in this way. I mean, hopefully. Fingers crossed. As you can see, it's we only go to turn 30. And we're already on uh, turn 5. So the game does go pretty fast. Plus one golden happiness produced by the palace for one hammer. I mean, it's pretty cheap. We do got one science. Six and four, which we don't have enough of. Mysticism for some paganism. Monument. I mean, for slavery, we might be able to actually build the hang gardens right away.
you know what? Honestly, let's enslave the population so we can build the hanging gardens right away. Put it right in Beijing. We're now getting 11 points per turn. So we're already at 26 out of 1300, which is, I think, pretty decent. Could buy more food. We could buy luxury uh, items as well. They basically will just help our city grow a little bit faster. Strength or can we buy mysticism? Oh, it's okay. So basically, I think that's how this card works. It's either two hammers and one money or one science. I mean, basically, this is basically free. We can't afford any of those cards, so it's not really a big, big deal which one we took. And you know, what? let's make more money and more happiness in Beijing. Oh yeah, you need to actually go somewhere. How about you move up towards England then? That seems okay. I probably need more soldiers sooner rather than later. Do some iron. Oh, we actually see a lot up here. We've actually, oh, we found more people. We found Rome and apparently we found Egypt as well. There's actually a lot of people that are uh, currently on this island. Fishing! doesn't seem like it'd be a useful technology for us at the moment. Well, you we do actually have one science. You know what, honestly? No, 3-1. Let's build a pasture. We can't build a pasture because I don't think there's anywhere we can build it on. Honestly, let's just build, like, another scout. Apparently, the scout does not take manpower, so that's good to know. We could raid. I mean, who's closest to us? Let's raid Mecca. Get a little bit of money off them. We own masonry? Could give some mine. The pyramids, metalworking, or axemen. An advanced ancient era unit. But fishing doesn't make any sense. We're not a, uh, a coastal country. It doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter what card we take. Um, so, you know, let's just end our turn right away. Oh, yeah, we can actually pull this card right now. Horseback riding, warrior. You know what? Let's keep a warrior card. We can save cards here for our next turn. Our scouts. Kind of make your way up here. Again, again, I don't think you can talk to any of the people that actually, like, not be at war. But as long as everybody's at war with everybody else, I feel like that's a little safer for us. I don't, know if there's also, I don't know if there's a way I can actually see everybody else's point value. So I don't know how close anybody else actually is to uh, winning here. Maybe actually being on the mountain. Who are you? I think you're a warrior, which scares me a little bit. Yeah, honestly, build a warrior right away. Follow that by immediately upgrading his strength. And you know what? Make him even stronger. I think I think it's probably worthwhile. In order to even put this mine. But another decree here. We have the science card, which actually doesn't do anything for us. We don't have eight gold. I don't know if we really... I mean, we probably want more population. I mean, you're one, you're size three, you're size two. I mean, I guess actually overall it's not that bad. Two units still need orders. Right, my scouts aren't doing anything. You come over here, and then my second scout. Let's send you back up towards these mountains. Because I think that actually it provides a lot of vision. What are you, actually? You are just a hut. Okay, Rome's expanding. We're now getting surrounded by three different people at the same time. That scares the hell out of me. We get one science. So that's nice. Can I upgrade you anymore? Not right now. An Axeman? We don't have any stone, unfortunately. So he's going to be very expensive. More strength. A barracks? Barrack units? You know what? You're actually really useful. But I don't have any stone. Can I buy stone? Is it marble? Yeah, no. It's probably worth it just for that. Wait, no, you're not. It is stone. 
Well, you don't have any stone. Build an axe, man. You're a strength seven, which I think is pretty good. You're a scout. You're a scout. Let's fight their warrior, because that scares me a little bit. Yeah, and you can't move right now. So we'll just try to kill this uh, axe warrior. You... There's actually another country over here. You know, you stand on this hill and see if you can find anything of actual value. Could get strength. You know what? We'll just use our special ability. We got the Temple of Diana. Again, we want stone for that, which we really don't have. Or... We can get some settlers. But right now, we can't really do anything with that. We'll see if we can kill this guy. I don't like how there's like a trillion scouts around us. I, no, I think he's upgrading his units. That's not great. Who are you? Are you You're not supposed to be Napoleon up there? Russia builds the pyramids. Do I even know if Russia exists? I guess so. There's so many people on this island. There's too many of you. And they took our loot, unfortunately. We have three science right now. Steal money from London. Berserk. Give this unit an extra attack. You know what? That actually could be pretty valuable. One and one. Put that on our axemen. We can also then immediately throw all of our luxuries here. We got so much science that, like, I kind of want to draw some cards. We have enough money as well. Honestly, woodworking is probably worthwhile. And immediately just get construction as well. Great wall. Increases the uh, movement cost of enemy units when entering your territory. That actually seems like it could be nice. I mean, it's very expensive. I need anything else right now. A road? I mean, actually, you don't, you, we can't really afford anything. But why don't you move to this hill? You will fortify on this hill. All these people do scare me a little bit. Because I'm still just stuck in my capital. Like, what am I going to do? I only have 78 points. And we're on turn 9 out of 30. We're 30% we're of the way through. I feel like we're actually doing pretty poorly. All things considered. Right now, we're only making 4-4. Four, four. We're not making a lot of money right now. Okay, these guys ended up killing each other. Who are you? Are you an Axeman? think so. Okay, we did get one science. I mean, we got a size three city, but I kind of want... I kind of need a settler. You know, let's actually just spend our point on this, even though we're not really going to be able to do anything with it. I mean, we'll take Ray Lighthouse, even though we can't... Again, what are we going to do with it? Got ten strength here. I'm only 8 strength. Let's build a farm. Build a farm up there. Produce more money and happiness in the capital. I mean, here, you know, we kind of... We have 18 gold right now. I did accidentally buy some food. Horses, gems, pearls. I think we'll just feed our population then. At least a little bit. You're still fine where you are. I think you fortifying the capital for now. Like, we need to get a second population. Like, we need to expand somewhere. Or we need to take over some other cities. Because we're already getting basically suffocated our, uh, in our little corner. Like, we, we just happen to spawn right in the direct middle of the map. 
which I think is very unfortunate. And we still haven't technically met Russia yet. We just know that they're somewhere over here. I mean, Mecca looks like it's basically abandoned. Okay, the French and the Persians are fighting. Of course, they killed my scout. Get out of here! I don't want to deal with your bullshit. We got food and science. Settler. Like, we need to move him somewhere. Um, build city. Don't build a city within our city. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Am I selling this? Or am I just putting it on, like, the market? Can I buy another science? Is there anything I can buy that's actually useful? I can buy some silver. What's the cheapest food? You know, buy some cows. Oh no, it's three gold for both cows. You know, that's actually probably worthwhile then. So I'm guessing it's three for all of it. Okay, well we need to settle somewhere. I don't know where. Because I don't know if there's really... Is there any good resources around here? I guess up towards like this mountain might be the best. Like that that's my best like guess, but or we try to capture this city. The city won't be too happy with us. I'm going to I'm going to let you know that now. And I don't know if there's like a limit to how close cities can be to one another. I'm assuming there is. Like that makes sense. I need more units. You got unrest in the city already. Can I actually upgrade you again? I can put an attack on the on the saddler, but I don't think that makes a lot of sense. 15 strength for swordsmen, 2 science. Can I build one right away? No, because I have like no production in this con in my uh, capital. Increase storage by 2. Means we can hold more stuff. I have so much money. Like, money's not a problem. I need to buy more hammers. Oh, we've already got that building. Well, that's nice. Let's increase our swords so we can now have five things in our inventory. Anything we need. Honestly, I think we move this way. I'm hoping they're both coming with us. I don't really know. But I like I have one hammer. Is there anything you can I mean if I had stone, I could. But nobody's selling stone. One hammer remaining. Okay, well we'll draw some more stuff. But I now I can't use any of these things because I don't have any uh cards in my hand or any any hammers because I only have four like I don't, I don't feel like that's enough I have enough population that maybe I can do some slavery but that's about it what about York York I see has nobody in it you think I can capture it with the scout I mean, it's a little bit too late now to try I knew if I noticed it last turn I probably would have tried to do something about it it's assuming I don't know if cities have like a natural defense value or not I want you people. You've already cap. You've already built a city here, which means you going up this way. I can't stop him now. Okay, you're dead. The French are all here. Okay, we got more science. No, you can't capture territory. 
You know, you're just gonna stay here and be fortified. You are a Mamluk. You've only got three strengths. So I'm not really worried about that. Yeah, I think you both just move this way. Yeah, there's still nowhere I can actually put you. I say, let's buy an archer. Another skeleton. Do I have forest tiles? I've got, I don't have any forest tiles in my entire goddamn empire. You're, you're 10 hammers or 3 stone. But nobody's selling goddamn stone. I'll, I'll put you in my... I guess I can't hold you, actually. Then what I want to do... Take... Probably draw some cards and hope that I draw like some sort of research card. Really, nothing. Okay, thank you. You know, I, I didn't need anything anyways, you know? I didn't, I didn't need it. Okay, so... I mean, I want to take over your city. I still don't think you're fine. Like, you might... Warriors got four strength. I mean, you've only got one strength, so I don't think you're going to be doing... Uh, too much good work there. But we are about halfway technically through the game. So I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this video here. I mean, once it's actually our turn again. So thank you everybody for watching. My second so if you've enjoyed my thumbs up, please don't kill me. I mean, if you've enjoyed my thumbs up, if you're not enjoying it, call me something down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye. Once it's my turn again. Tile contained enemies. There's a famine? Okay, that's not great. I think I, I did actually get some gold too. Uh, anyway, have a great day and goodbye.